Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to check the fuel pressure on a 5.3 liter V8 by General Motors. So let's go ahead and get started. Now there were several vehicles that utilized this 5.3 liter V8 by General Motors. That included the Trailblazer, the Envoy, the Silverado, the Tahoe, and many other vehicles. So if your vehicle has the 5.3 liter V8, then this process would be the same for yours. Now to complete this, all you're going to need is a fuel pressure gauge or a test kit like we have here. You can pick these up anywhere. This particular one I got at Harbor Freight years ago works great. Also going to need a flathead screwdriver so we can press in the Schrader valve to release the pressure. And then either a rag or some paper towels to catch any fuel that comes out so it doesn't go on the ground. Depending on your vehicle, you may either have the intake duct assembly right here that's covering where the Schrader valve is, or you may have the plastic engine cover. Either way, you need to remove that so we can access it. Go ahead and move that out of the way, and I'll show you where the Schrader valve is located. So we move that out of the way. Here's the Schrader valve right off the fuel rail. It has a little black cap on it that we're going to go ahead and unscrew, and then we'll be able to access it. And that's the Schrader valve there. That location would be the same on any of these vehicles utilizing the 5.3 liter V8. First thing we need to do is release the pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and you can either take some paper towels, napkins, or a rag, but something so that way the fuel won't just go flying all over the ground and all over the vehicle. Now I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and push in the valve here to release any pressure. There we go. A little bit came out. But you always want to release that pressure and make sure it's all out of there before we connect. Make sure you always have something underneath to catch it because you don't want that fuel spraying all over the engine or falling on the ground. I like to put a little, little wrap of plumber's putty over the threads. That way you ensure that you're getting a very good connection. Otherwise, that can throw your pressure off. Um, so add that on there and then we'll go ahead and screw this on. Next, we're gonna go ahead and screw the other end of the gauge onto the fuel rail. I put a little bit of plumber's, plumber's tape on there as well just to make a good bond on that. Get that nice and tight. And then we should be ready to fire it up. Okay, well you can see here, we shut everything off. It's still maintaining a pressure of around 55 PSI, which is on the very low end, but that is acceptable for this, for the 5.3 liter V8, you wanna be between 55 and 62 PSI. So probably gonna go ahead and swap out this fuel pump. Um, I don't like it when they get too low. To my knowledge, this is the original one. It's almost 170,000 miles, which is way beyond its lifespan. So anyway, that uh, takes care of it. It's been a few minutes now since we shut the car off, just checking the pressure, and you can see it's still maintaining good pressure. If you have a vehicle where it drops right away, that's usually an indication that you have a leak somewhere. And a lot of times that can be corrected by installing a check valve in your fuel return line. If you want to see how to do that, you can do so via the link above um, where I installed one in a vehicle. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up this video. At this point, you would just go ahead and put everything back that you'd removed, whether it be the plastic cover or the uh, part of the, the air intake um, duct. You would put all that back, go ahead and remove your, your gauge, and that would wrap it up. So I hope this video helped you out. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.